Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. Told. I'm rather satisfied with my performance. It will be an honor to serve by your side.
I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on your map. Will you not miss my company once Please I am gone? Please dispense with the formalities. They. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look, then. Have you business with the Guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you.
always a pleasure. I suspect the lad's enthusiasm will go a long way toward inspiring his peers. Let us inform Sir Baron of his coming. Ah, oh, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Why there, friend? Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Selenet in Mel. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? <coughs> Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. But I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out of... So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We need only deliver it to the intended recipient. We are to see this letter to Sir Leonard in Melv. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. We're in your hands, sir. Ma in every age, hence, horns are treated with respect. As a matter of course, not to mention, they are skilled can tis clear their concept of... Master, do bear in mind that a fairy stone can shorten a long day's journey into a single instant. Indeed, you are correct. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. Everyone's just tired, isn't it? Might be. I'll check the wheels. 
Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Ah, here we are. The Oxgarden made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. <laughs> 